Well, blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry, where we do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Saturday, Saturday, November the 2nd, 2024. We are resuming our read, um, Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter. These 14 verses, let me get the timer set, seven minutes, seven minutes, we'll be reading from the King James Version for the Word of God, always, Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter and the 14 verses, and it reads, Thou shalt be blessed above all people, there shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle, and the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. And thou shalt consume all the people which the Lord thy God shall deliver thee. Thine eyes shall have no pity upon them, neither shalt thou serve their gods, for that will be a snare unto thee. If thou shalt say in thine heart, These nations are more than I, how can I dispossess them? Thou shalt not be afraid of them, but shall well remember what the Lord thy God did unto Pharaoh and unto all of Egypt. The great temptations which thine eyes saw, and the signs and the wonders and the mighty hand and the outstretched hand, whereby the Lord thy God brought thee out, so shall the Lord thy God do unto all the people of whom thou art afraid. Moreover, the Lord thy God will send the hornet among them until they that are left and hide themselves from thee be destroyed. Thou shalt not be afraid at them, at them, for the Lord thy God is among you, a mighty God and terrible. And the Lord thy God will put out those nations before thee by little and by little. Thou mayest not consume them at once, least the beasts of the field increase upon thee. But the Lord thy God shall deliver them unto thee and shall destroy them with a mighty destruction until they be destroyed. And he shall deliver their kings into thine hand and thou shalt destroy their name from under heaven. There shall no man be able to stand before them until thou have destroyed them. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver of gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein, for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be cursed, lest thou be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. Chapter 8. And all the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, and that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord thy God swear unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee, to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. And he humbled thee, and he suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee known, that he might make thee know that man doeth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doeth man live. The raiment waxed not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chaseth his son, so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. So as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of oil, uh, oil, olive, and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. Thou shalt not lack anything in it. 
a land whose stones are iron and out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. When thou hast eaten and are full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he hath given thee. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Least when thou hast eaten and art full and hast built goodly houses and dwelt therein. And when thy herds and thy flocks multiply and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thine heart be lifted up and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought, where there was no water, who brought thee forth water out of the rock of, of flint, who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee and that he might prove thee to do thee good at the latter end. And thou say in thine heart, my power and the might of mine hand hath gotten me this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore unto thy father, as it is this day. And it shall be, if thou shalt do at all, forget the Lord thy God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day, that ye shall surely perish, as the nations which the Lord destroyeth before you, before your face, so shall ye perish, because ye would not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God. So that would be Saturday's read. So we have 36 uh, seconds left. Let's stop it. Okay, it's going to have to go and I'll restart it. Chapter 9. Hear, O Israel, thou art to pass over Jordan this day to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than thyself, cities great and fenced up to heaven, a people great and tall, the children of the Anakims, whom thou knowest and of whom thou hast heard say, who can stand before the children of Anak? Understand, therefore, this day that the Lord thy God is he which, which goeth over before thee as a consuming fire. Okay, let's start it. Understand, therefore, this day that the Lord thy God is he which goeth over before thee as a consuming fire. He shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before thy face. So shalt thou drive them out and destroy them quickly, as the Lord hath said unto thee. So speak not thou in thine heart after that the Lord thy God has cast thee out from before thee, saying, For my righteousness the Lord hath brought me in to possess this land. But for the wickedness of these nations, the Lord doeth drive them out from before thee. Not for thy righteousness or for the uprightness of thine heart dost thou go to possess their land. But for the wickedness of these nations, the Lord thy God doeth drive them out from before thee. That he may perform the word which God sware unto thy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Understand, therefore, that the Lord thy God giveth thee not this good land to possess it for thy righteousness, for thou art a stiff-necked people. Remember and forget not how thou provoked the Lord thy God to wrath in the wilderness from the day that thou didst depart out of the land of Egypt until ye came unto this place. Ye have been rebellious against the Lord. Also in Horeb, ye provoked the Lord to wrath so that the Lord was angry with you to have destroyed you. When I was gone up into the mount to receive the, ta the tables of stone, even the tables of the covenant which the Lord made with you, then I abode in the mountain for forty days and forty nights. I neither did eat nor drink water. And the Lord delivered unto me two tables of stone written with the finger of God. And on them was written according to all the words which the Lord spake with you in the mount out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass at the end of 40 days and 40 nights that the Lord gave me the two tables 
of stone, even the tables of the covenant. And the Lord said unto me, Arise, get thee down quickly from hence, for thy people, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. They are quickly turned aside out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten image. Furthermore, the Lord spake unto me, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Let me alone, that I may destroy them and blot out their name from under heaven, and I will make of thee a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and I came down from the mount, and the mount burned with fire, and the two tables of the covenant were in my hands. And I looked, and behold, ye had sinned against the Lord your God, and had made you a molten calf. Ye had turned aside quickly out of the way which the Lord had commanded you. And I took the two tables and cast them out of my two hands and break them before your eyes. And I fell down before the Lord as at the first forty days and forty nights. I did neither eat bread nor drink water because of all your sins, which ye sinned in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure, whether the Lord was wroth against you to destroy you. But the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also. And the Lord was very angry with Aaron to have destroyed him. And I prayed for Aaron also at the same time. And I took your sin, the calf which ye had made, and burnt it with fire and stamped it and ground it very small, even until it was as small as dust. And I cast the dust thereof into the brook that descended out of the mount. And at Taborah and in Massa and at Kibroth Hatavah, ye provoked the Lord to wrath. Likewise, when the Lord sent you from Kadas Barnea, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you. Then ye rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and ye believed him not, nor hearkened to his voice. Ye have been rebellious against the Lord from the day that I knew you. Thus I fell down before the Lord forty days and forty nights, as I fell down at the first, because the Lord had said he would destroy you. I prayed therefore unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, destroy not thy people and thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed through thy greatness, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember thy servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Look not unto the stubbornness of this people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sin. Least the land which thou broughtest us out say, because the Lord was not able to bring them into the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he hath brought them out to slay them in the wilderness. Yet they are thy people and thine inheritance, which thou broughtest out by thy mighty power and by thy stretched out hand. Chapter 10. And at that time the Lord said unto me, Hew thee two tables of stone, like unto the first, and come up unto me into the mount, and make thee an ark of wood. And I will write on the tables the words that were in the first tables, which thou breakest, and thou shalt put them in the ark. And I made an ark of shittim wood, and hew two tables of stone like unto the first, and went up into the mount, having the two tables in mine hand. And he wrote on the tables according to the first writing the Ten Commandments, which the Lord spake unto you in the mount, out of the midst of the fire, in the day of the assembly, and the Lord gave them unto me. And I turned myself, and I came down from the mount, and put the tables in the ark which I had made, and there they be, as the Lord commanded me. And the children of Israel took their journey from Beroth of the children of Jacon to Maserah. There Aaron died, and there he was buried. And Eleazar his son ministered in the priest's office in his stead. From thence they journeyed unto God Godgoa, and from God God Gada to Jotbath, a land of rivers of waters. And that time the Lord separated the tribe of Levi to bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord, to minister unto him, and to, to bless, to minister unto him, and to bless his name until this day. May the Lord add a blessing to 
you the hearer, me the reader of this precious and sacred word of God we're over here on. Wow, it's perfect. I did just enough reading down to the ninth uh, verse. So that's where we'll start on Monday, on Monday, because we just completed Saturday and Sunday's read. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, those of you who come on here and you read the word of God with us every day, you come on, you read, and you don't bless the sister. You don't bless a mama. That ain't right. If you're being blessed by the readings that I do every day, I encourage you to bless a mama back. All I ask is $7, $7 a month, $7 a week, $7 a day, however you want to do it, whatever you want to do. You can do it by sending it to dollar sign Mama Pam 23. Dollar sign Mama Pam 23. Until the next read, know that Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. And Mama Pam loves you. There's absolutely positively nothing you can do about it. Until the next read, God bless.